in today's session we will get to know about the accounting period management how the accounting period can be closed in the net suite application after that we will move towards the general ledger and then we will uh, see the general ledger impact of any transaction under our net suite application so as we all know that net suite is uh, basically concerned with the accounting and reporting purposes so first we will get to know what is accounting so in accounting is the process of recording summarizing analyzing and reporting the financial transactions that are related to a business it is one of the key function of almost any business so recording i would say uh, is mainly concerned with the creating journal entry for any particular uh, transactions uh, with the debit and credit uh, accounting explains how a business organization records organizes and reports these transactions to the investors and the other parties uh, that are uh, there in the business accounting is necessary function uh, basically for decision making cost planning and uh, measurement of economic performance uh, our uh, today's uh, main concern which is the accounting period so first uh, we will know what is accounting period accounting period refers to the time period for which accounting books are balanced uh, and it is concerned with the preparation of financial statements which are the backbones of any organization like income statement balance sheet and cash flow statement uh, and uh, it is mainly done for evaluating the performance of the company and it helps in reporting uh, task as well uh it uh, it is done to evaluate i told you it is done to evaluate the performance of the organization and it is the you know uh, i would say the accounting period is the life span of an enterprise which is broken down into smaller periods so that uh, its uh, performance is measured at the regular intervals the financial statement uh, are prepared at regular intervals uh, normally after a period of one year and this interval uh, we will get to know by the name of accounting period um accounting period is based on the matching principle concept uh, which allows for the real time analysis of the expenses and revenues uh, it will be more clear to you with this uh, we can see in the picture that uh, for accounting period management the revenues that are earned by the organization should match with the expenses that are incurred over here in order to have the net profit so this is how an accounting uh, period can be closed as it follows the matching principle of the uh, accounting we can see the accounting periods has been divided into two parts uh, there are basically two parts of accounting periods first is the basic accounting period under which calendar year falls and the fiscal year fall calendar year is like it starts uh, from january 1st and ends on 31st december and what is fiscal year it is usually a one year period that the companies and gov uh, governments are using mainly for reporting and budgeting purposes uh, but uh, this uh, fiscal year varies according to the countries different different countries have their own uh, fiscal calendars i would say the next uh, accounting period type we would be having is the interim period uh, interim period is usually a period uh, which is you know uh, which is not a of 12 month period it can be a monthly period a quarterly or a semi annually or i would say the six month period moving on to the net suite application this is my net suite dashboard uh, we have uh, uh, learned about uh, its features yesterday so this is my net suite dashboard where i have been logged in as an administrator and uh, the roles that are assigned uh, uh, for uh, any administrator so you know i do have the permission to make necessary edits and customization over here so for having the uh, account for managing the accounting period we will be going under the setup accounting under manage gl we will be uh, before managing the accounting period we will first uh, get to know about the fiscal calendars what they are actually 
so here we can see a list of fiscal calendars is here uh, these are the various names uh, different i have told you that uh, the different different countries have their own fiscal calendar if we take the us fiscal calendar it uh, starts uh, from january and it ends on 31st uh, december uh, some countries have june july fiscal calendar some have um, april march fiscal calendar and if we talk about the indian fiscal calendar it starts from april and ends on 31st march so here we can see the name for the fiscal calendar the first, first fiscal month and the default uh, if we want to make this fiscal calendar uh, either yes or no we can uh, do it from here if we want to create any new fiscal calendar we can click on here and uh, you can see uh, some uh, few details are required to be given the uh, like the name that we want to assign to this uh, calendar and uh, from which month we do want this uh, to be started and if we put ch check this bo box out so it will be uh, marked as yes so this and after doing all these things we can click on save so this fiscal calendar will be introduced under our this list that uh, the new, if we want to add any fiscal calendar so we will go back to the uh, manage accounting period setup we will go under the setup <coughs> sorry i would go back to the home page So we will go under the setup over to accounting under manage gl we will be having the manage accounting period so here we can see a manage accounting period window has opened up uh, the period names the various period names that are uh, there in our application is here it can be collapsed it can be expanded uh, it, it is given along with the uh, internal id so if we want to uh, have a view of any particular accounting period like uh, i want to view this fiscal year uh, 2021 so we can see that the fiscal year 2021 has been bifurcated into the quarters and you can see over here the uh, as it is it has been divided into quarters a uh, checklist is given over here by clicking on it it will provide us the uh, uh, detailed uh, of uh, all the tasks and all the accounts that are there in this uh, uh, particular period we can see the uh, it is uh, the tasks that are there is lock accounts receivable lock accounts payable and lock all the gls after that uh, we would be having the other task as well that are required to be marked as complete but uh, since it is it has already been locked the period is already been closed so i cannot make any changes any modifications over here we can see the period name uh, january 2021 its start date is given its end date is given uh, the status uh, a green check mark over here is uh, uh, is an indication that the account has been uh, closed now and the person who has modified it is or her name would be visible over here so going back to the list we can see that we have uh, gone through the checklist uh, where we uh, got to know that the accounting period for this particular month has been closed the check mark over here is uh, shown as the closed uh, this lock indicates that we cannot make any changes uh, relating to accounts payable accounts receivable and the gl transactions um, it is uh, you know understood that the period for this particular month or i would say we can if we go down and have a look the uh, on the remaining quarters we can see that uh, these all have been logged it means that the all the entries have been passed the adjustments have been made and nothing is yet to be done so 
after doing all these things the accounting period has been now closed basically accounting period management is concerned with the closure of the accounting period and uh, we cannot uh, if if uh, like take an example one thing is to be noted uh, if the accounting period for quarter 2021 for the month of october is clo- is open and we want to you know close this november 2021 we wouldn't be able to do that unless and until uh, we close the october month task so this is how we can uh, manage our accounting period in the netsuite application or uh, we can close the accounting period in the netsuite application our next uh, topic is uh, general ledger so a general ledger represents the record keeping system for a company's financial data with the debit and credit account records uh, general ledger i would say is the second step recording uh, posting transactions in the general ledger is the second step in the accounting cycle like the first one is the uh, journal passing the journal entry and from that journal the accounts uh, the transactions have been posted into ledger and the purpose uh, the main purpose of uh, posting transaction in the general ledger is uh, to you know generate the company's trial balance and financial statements uh, gl accounts encompasses all the transaction data that are needed to produce the income statement balance sheet and other financial reports uh in simple words i would say that it provides a, us a record of each financial transaction that take place during the life of a company and it holds all the accounting information that are required to prepare the financial statement uh the general ledger is based on the principle of a double entry system which uh, states that all the debits uh, should be equal to all the credits uh I, we have seen that it, uh, why it is the main purpose of this uh, general ledger is uh, it is mainly used for generating the company's trial balance and uh, the transactions that are there uh, two types of transactions are recorded in the general ledger uh, and those are the posting transactions and the non posting transactions so what are posting transactions so posting transactions are those uh, transactions which do have their impact on the on the uh, you know which do have any economic or monetary value i would say which affects the report totals and the customer balances and all and the non posting transactions are the only transaction that are uh, saved but uh, uh, in net suite but uh, their posting will be marked as no it, it means that uh, it does not result in any increase or decrease in the uh, cash uh, uh, cash or i would say the uh, monetary value of the company of the business so for having the gl impact in the netsuite application i have uh, told uh, this thing that uh, the two types of transactions are there the posting and the non posting transactions and uh, we can take an example of it uh, under the uh, we can take an examples of sales order sorry sales transaction okay so if we take the sales order into consideration so so all the sales order and purchase order comes under the non posting transactions because you know these are only the orders they will not be resulting into the into any increase of the cash in the organization and uh, if we uh, move towards the payment of the you know uh, like i would say the cash sales if we can take the example of cash sales so cash sales would be coming under the posting transaction it will be more clear to you for that we will be going under the transaction purchases enter purchase order and list so here we can see a purchase order list has opened up before us so in order to have the gl impact of any transaction that uh, we want to if we want to have the gl impact of any transaction so we will be going under the like we will take the denmark international over here which is a fully built transaction we will click on view Here we can see the Denmark International purchase order has opened up before us. 
we just want to have a look at the gl impact of it for which we will be going under the actions and gl impact so here we can see the purchase order has been credited by uh, by this amount and inventory asset and the weight on, weight on purchases has been debited and we can see the posting of this i have told you that it is since it is an it is an order it does not resulted in the increase or decrease of cash so its posting here is no marked here is no so these are the non posting transactions i have told you that purchase order and sales order uh, will be coming under the non posting transactions if we will go back to the purchase order we will go down and get into the related records of this particular purchase order and uh, if we click on its bill so we, where here we can see uh, it since it is a fully bill transaction so it, we will go under the actions and we will see its gl impact you can see the same accounts have been debited and credited over here the only change we are having over here is the posting uh, over here is marked as yes so since it is a, a posting transaction why is it a posting transaction because you know the payment has already been made we have made the payment and it has resulted in the decrease of company's cash so definitely there would be some uh, effect on the monetary uh, monetary status of the company so its posting will be marked as yes since it is a posting transaction so it uh, does have the gl impact on this uh, purchase order so this is how we can have the gl impact of any transactions usually uh, both the you know posting and non posting transactions are there in the net suite they are saved in net suite but the uh, effect uh, but the posting transaction do have their impact on any transactions so in today's session we will get to know how uh, what are the accounting period what is the accounting period management and how can we close the accounts after that uh, we had a, a walk through of uh, a general ledger and have seen we have seen the gl impact of any transactions we also got to know the uh, posting and non posting transactions so in case of any questions queries and consultations feel free to write to us at www.bisvsolutions.com thank you